What is up guys, Quentin here from Dance and Cloud. This week there is an awesome update for Google Meet where uh, it's actually on the Google for Education blog. So we don't normally cover education stuff. Uh, we primarily focus on business, but a lot of these features are gonna be rolling out within the business or enterprise space as well. So I think it's extremely relevant. It gives kind of a, a roadmap really for the next couple of months for where Google are going with Google Meet. Uh, and we're super excited to actually be able to talk about some of these features because obviously as partners, we sometimes get the, the lowdown on what's coming. Um, and so it's great to, uh, you know, to be able to talk about some of these now. Before I, I dive into that, um, there was also something mentioned on the blog that I just think is insane. And, you know, I feel I need to share with, with people. Um, Google now have 140 million uh, educators and students using um, Google Meet on a regular basis, which is just astounding. And 1,300 years of education video calls are happening every single day on Google Meet. That's just unfathomable, astounding. I can't even comprehend uh, <laughs> that amount of time. Um, so, you know, just two really, really, uh, interesting facts, I think, on Google Meet. And I love when Google shared these little nuggets of information. So let's get straight into it. I've got my list here. I've got a lot of stuff to go through. I don't even know how many. Um, and I wanna get through them quickly uh, to keep this short and sharp for people. So the first thing that's being updated within the education uh, Google Meet edition is the knock knock feature. Most of, you, most of you will be familiar with this, is where people can sort of ask to join a, uh, your Google Meet and you can accept them in. For educators, they're gonna be restricting this a bit um, or giving more control, whereby if someone tries to join several times and you, you sort of say no, um, then they won't be able to, after, after two times of being rejected, you won't, they, they won't be able to, to attempt to join again. Um, you will eventually have the ability to end the Google Meet for all participants. And I think this is something that a lot of educators have been looking for because students were rejoining meetings afterwards and continuing to talk. Um, and particularly for younger students as well, where you just want to end the call and you know, you're responsible for them if they're under a certain age and things like that. So very, very important um, for educators to be able to do that. And a feature that I think a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, also, there will be the, be the ability uh, to stop anonymous or block anonymous users from, from joining a Google Meet. This is a feature you can opt in and out of. Um, so some colleges and schools that I know I've worked with on a personal basis would actually require this because not everybody has a Google or G Suite account. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be one of those ones where it'll be very useful for, for some uh, schools and colleges, but for others, um, they'll be able to opt out of that. And then, the next three, I think everybody's gonna be interested in. The ability to blur your background. So very much like myself, if I zoom in a little bit, my background is blurred right now, my camera's doing it for me. Um, you'll be able to do that within Google Meet as well. And you'll also be able to replace your background as you might have experience within some other video conferencing solutions. Um, next up, we have the ability to mute all of their participants. So again, this is a feature that a lot of people have struggled with. Um, particularly within the education space or even within the business space when you've got a lot of participants. You know, it can be uh, difficult if you've got 50 or 100 people on a call, you don't wanna be going through individually and muting them or even having to ask people to mute them. Having the ability to just mute everybody all at once, I think is, is uh, not just important, but vital. Uh, next up, we have the ability to disable chat within um, Google Meet. So there's a, a chat feature within Google Meet that some of you might have used. Uh, educators will be able to disable that. They will also be able to restrict who can present. And I think this is kind of an important one. I had a personal experience with this where I was on a um, digital assembly with 200 or so other people and parents and teachers. And um, you know, some, some kid on purpose or by accident shared their screen on their phone and again, that's an issue if you've got younger people on the call. As the presenter, you wanna keep control. And so I think <clears throat> having the ability to stop participants from being able to um, share their screens is extremely valuable. Um, Next up, we have three quite interesting features. We have hand raising, so I've been able to do the digital hand raising. I think that's a very useful feature. Um, tiled view will be increasing to 49 people, which is, wow, that's great. Um, and I think, again, for schools and colleges, I think it makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, and then the, the next one is collaborative whiteboard. So for those of you who have ever used Jamboard, uh, Google's Jamboard, you will now have the ability to have a jam within Google Meet. And this is fantastic to see these two, you know, excellent tools being more heavily integrated together. I'm uh, really excited to see this one. And I think it's something that I use Jamboards quite a bit. Um, and I'll definitely be using this within, uh, within Google Meet. Um, the next couple of features... Sorry, that's my Google Home interrupting me. <laughs> she likes to join the, uh, the, the video sometimes. She feels a little bit left out. Uh, the next few are primarily focused on education and are only available in the Education for Enterprise edition, which is a edition of, of G Suite for Education that most of you probably don't know about unless you're in the education space. So it, it's a paid for uh, feature. So. Uh, the next few, um, we've got attendance tracking. I think this is probably going to be an education only feature. Very, very useful um, for educators and teachers to know who's actually been in a call again, particularly in, in large calls. Uh, breakout rooms, Q&A and polling. So all these three features are also coming. I'd hope that these would also be available in, in the business edition because I think they would be very useful uh, for uh, businesses doing online learning, doing uh, webinars, things like that. So breakout rooms, if you're not sure what they are, that allows a larger room to be broken down into smaller rooms. Uh, this feature is currently available in, in Zoom. And um, what essentially it means is you can sort of break people into groups or teams. Again, very useful from a learning point of view where you might want a group to go off and work on something and then come back into the, the kind of main call. Um, and then Q&A, kind of self-explanatory, but again, I, I'm excited to see this built into Google Meet. We have a Q&A feature within Google Slides, and we often use that, our trainers use that um, within uh, online training that we do within, within the business for customers. But you know, having it as a separate thing is, is kind of you know, a little bit messy. Having it integrated into Google Meet, I think is gonna be fantastic. Um, and then the last one, polling, I think is great. Been able to, to poll your audience, particularly with a large group, very, very valuable and very, very useful um, to just get that live information. We did that actually for the G Suite Summit that we ran. Um, the tool that we use, Big Marker, allowed us to, to do live polls. And it was very useful because we were able to write the polls beforehand um, and just get an idea of who the audience was, what they were kind of interested in so that we could focus the actual presentation and just make sure that it was sort of customized to them. So you could see that being useful for both educators and in business. So that is it for me, guys. Um, I would love to know what you think about these new updates. As I said, we would expect a lot of these features to also be available in the business edition um, when they are launched. But uh, only time will tell. I'm excited to see uh, what updates Google have on this on the business side. So I will talk to you guys next week. <laughs>